mini mic time at mini Boots mic. and Hearts. Is this your first time holding a mini mic? <laughs> it is. I think it looks ridiculous. <laughs> I love it so much. I feel like I made him do this. I feel like Andre the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I guess. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> this is our first interview at Boots and Hearts 2024, and it's Jess Moskalu. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant this is our first interview. No. I was like, where's he going with this? Because nope. We've done this lots of times. It's just not today. Just not here. Yeah. Nice to see you. Oh, it's better to see you. Oh, that's very kind. It is better to see you. And I don't <laughs> I don't just mean that because it sounds nice. Oh, well. You know, I, I believe a catch up with Jess Moskaluk's just good for the soul. Oh, I hope so. That's yeah. the goal. That's the goal. So what's new with Jess? You know what? Things are good right now. There's not a lot new which is so boring for an interview i, I mean you as a you know you as jess not necessarily yeah, just you the, yeah. the, the musician yeah no still not a lot <laughs> like, like seriously i it's so funny because i'm like oh i've been so busy and what have you been doing well just writing like i have for the last how long and does that ever stop though no it doesn't it doesn't but i i feel like i've actually done a lot more of it this year than i or this last year and a half than i have in the last little bit um there's just been more time to do it. So it's been so nice. Like, I feel like this is the first time in my career that I've been able to focus on writing and, and enjoy it a lot more. So it's, it's a whole writing right now is a whole other ball game. And I love it so much. Well, I guess as life goes on, experiences change, you know, yeah. and it creates new, uh, um, uh, motives for writing and new and new subject material, but you know, boots and hearts, you know, reading about your experience of boots and hearts yeah. in years past. Yeah. There I don't remember many boots and hearts where there wasn't some sort of weather yeah. event. And here we are in twenty twenty four. We seem to have dogged knock on yeah. wood. <laughs> Anything significant weather wise. But there was a year a few years ago and I don't remember particularly what year it was. Yeah. I would guess like 2015. Okay. I'm going to guess. Let's say it was 2015. You got pulled off the stage. Yeah. You hadn't done cheap wine and mm -hmm. cigarettes yet. Yeah. That's the only reason I'm guessing 2015. Okay. Because I know that song came out in 2014 and I remember it being relatively new, um, but not so new that people didn't know it yet. Because when they pulled us off stage for our safety, the crowd's safety, everybody's safety, we hadn't, like you said, been able to do cheap wine yet. And people were chanting in the crowd, <laughs> cheap wine, cheap wine. And that's the first time anything like that had ever happened to me. So not only was it really memorable just because that happened for the first time, but it was memorable because there were literally flooding, like pools of water happening around us. I was like running out to try and like sign autographs and like take pictures and say thanks for coming to people. And as I was doing that, like the water was rising, <laughs> like it was crazy. My publicist was like ripping me out of there. And then the stage manager came over and he's like, you can do one more song, go. And I was like, oh, okay, this is it. This what is are we going to do? No. <laughs> Should we do a cover? <laughs> No, so so obviously we did cheap wine, and that was really the first time in my memory, and it's so burned in there, of people singing that song back to me at a whole other level. That is one image I have so clear in my head. So uh, to any time we're back at Boots and Hearts is really special, but today's the first day we're playing the main stage, so I hope it can live up to that energy. Oh, I'm so happy for you. It's amazing to talk about the fact that Boots and Hearts and Jess Moskalut goes back that far, let alone the fact that Cheap Wine and Cigarettes has celebrated its 10th anniversary. Wild. So weird. Yeah. You yeah. know, and a couple of remixed versions of the song to celebrate yeah. the anniversary. Yeah, we did two of them. Um, we had done one, honestly, like a, probably a year or more ago that we were holding on to and saving for the 10th anniversary. And it was great. Dan Swinimer did it and he did a fantastic job. And then a gentleman by the name of Jack Trades came across our table and we're like, this is also very cool. And what he would do with the song would be so drastically different than what Dan did. Right. So we wanted to just do like a dance mix and then like a really like, vibey kind of retro sounding thing they're totally polar opposite from each other and uh it's cool to hear people be like i like this one better and then i don't i don't like this one better at all I'm like well they're not supposed to be no better they're just supposed to be different just to celebrate so Precisely. yeah it's been 10 fun. years isn't that wild yeah for sure yeah so now dan swinimer is a record producer and i would be remiss if i didn't tell our audience that I beat Dan Swinimer in the hockey pool every year. Oh, okay. That's not to say I win the hockey pool. Yeah. I just beat Dan. Okay. Okay. Just specifically. <laughs> 
basically just Dan. All right, got it. Yeah, just be Dan. I'll Here keep you that are. tidbit. Yeah, back at Boots and Hearts, though, you know, and, and, and it's such an amazing festival. And, yeah. you know, in a sense, to have that experience where they pull you off stage mm-hmm. because of the inclement weather, push you back out there, in a sense... It almost makes that a more memorable occasion for oh, the yeah. fans, right? I'm sure it did. Yeah. And I, I don't know if they knew because like everyone was kind of exiting uh, again for safety. And then they kind of were all coming back. And I thought, is anyone going to be back? Like there was no like, and here she comes again, you know? Um, so I, I I am pretty sure that that moment was a lot more memorable to me than it probably even was to them. I don't think that any of us knew what we were experiencing until now, 10 years later, I'm looking back and being like, man, one of my most incredible performances, and, and not because of the performance, but because of the circumstances around it, happened right here at Boots. Uh, yeah. Now, you, you talked a lot about writing, spending a lot of your yeah. time writing, and I'm going to ask you a question that management and the label may prefer <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Is there a song you've written recently? Mm-hmm that you believe stands above the rest and that you think Jess Moskaluk fans should hear? Yes, but it's that's not... It. That's where the... Yes, I have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's not recorded yet. Okay. They will hear it soon. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm very excited. How many times do I have to ask you for the title? <laughs> uh, 14. A lot. 14. <laughs> <laughs> I think Carmen said we're d- done here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get this guy out of here. Who invited Ferguson? Rat, <laughs> yeah, who invited Ferguson back to Boots? Uh, uh, you know, I came here early today because I knew I had the opportunity to talk to you. That's and, uh, very, very nice. It's been I'm so f- happy to see you. Yeah, I'm happy to see you as well. And uh, if certain cool 100 listeners can't be here, at least we're online for you to be able to say hello. Hello. I'm so sorry you can't be here. They and, should be here. Yes, you should be here. Yeah. And for you to be on that main stage finally. So soon. I'm so excited. Nice yeah. to chat with you before. That's good energy for me. There's some good outfits. Are you looking at Where? this? I, the only one. guy. Well, I can see that, but I can see my all Mike's wearing is a red T-shirt. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where do people find you on socials? That's very funny because Mike's shirt says unfollow. Oh, as does it really? He turned around and looked at this, and you said, "Where can they follow me on socials?" <laughs> they can follow me at Jess Moskaluk on Instagram and Facebook. I think TikTok is Jess Moskaluk official because someone okay. already took Jess Moskaluk. Come on, who did that? Who did that? <laughs> who took Jess <laughs> Moskaluk? Not me. Give it back. <laughs> was it you? No, it wasn't me. I that didn't take. Well, suspicious. I can't spell Moscolu. Yeah. No, that's not true. I've known you long <laughs> enough. You, I can, you can. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jess Moscolu official on TikTok. Jess Moscolu every year. It's been so nice to be able to call you a friend all these years. Yeah, I feel the same way. I'm so glad we made this work. Thank you for yeah. coming in early. We're gonna walk to the main stage together. <laughs> You're gonna go a special way, and I'm gonna go with the great unwashed to watch this show shortly. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Jess Moskaluk at Boots and Hearts. Cool 100. Happy to be an Oro Medante. Boots and Hearts 2024 is on.